you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to draw the section view of the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen now if you look closely you will see that that figure you're seeing has what is called a cotton plane when i make a cotton plane this is what i'm trying to make you understand So this is what we have here. The cutting plane is cutting the figure looking at the direction, let's call it what? XX. Right? Looking at the direction, we'll call it what? XX. So when this plane you're seeing cuts this figure, right? We're looking at what will remain in when you're looking at it at this direction. We'll call it the end view. If it's the front elevation, we'll be seeing the section end elevation, right? So let's see what we are going to see when this figure cuts, when this cutting plane cuts this figure. So let's see what we we'll see. So this is what we have. When you've cut this plane into two, this is what we have. All right? We'll be seeing. This is what we are going to what we are going to be seeing, and we are looking at here from this direction. Is that this is what you see in terms of orthographic projection? The end view will now become something like this. Let me show you. It will become something like this. So this is all we have. We are looking at it from the side. Right? We are going to be seeing this. If you're seeing this as a straight line, looking from this side here, you're seeing everything as a straight line because this curve will be like a straight line and look as if it's on the same level as this, right? So when you are not told, you are not asked to do all this, right? Now when you cut this plane into two, this space here, this is what you have here. So if you are not told what you what you are going to do, if you are asked to show the section end elevation, this is what you do. Just pick up your uh, instrument. Let me bring this one down a little bit. You pick your instrument and you draw this. Right? Let me make it more visible. And you draw this. The horizontal line this way right your vertical line this way this is the answer we're talking about now from here to here is from here to here and that's given to the word 44 so you measure 44 0 to what 44 and you're going to what ticking it right and the height is what from here to the topmost here is what 64 so you're going to measure 64 because from here to here right because from here to here is 14 from here to here is what 30 and from here to the is what 20 so all together give you 64 so i'm going to what ticking it Going to what? Taking it. Now the nation is thickness from here to here, which is from here to here, is given to be what? 14 as shown in the diagram. So I'll measure 14. 0 to 14. Now I'll take it up with faint line first. And I'll close here up this way. Right now, from here to here is 14, and I'll just take here up at this end here, and I'll measure 14. Right, 
zero to here is fourteen, and I am going to what close it up from here, straight down to this point, right? And the next one is eight. From here to here is eight because if you remove six from here to here is six minus fourteen will give you remaining what eight. So I'm going to measure eight from the base, from zero to what eight. Right, and I'll draw my line this way. Then here also I'll draw it this way. And here I'll draw it this way. Then the next one is from here to the center of this circle is 30. So I'll measure 30 from here. I'm going to measure 30 from here. From 0 to 30, you can see that that will show a center line because it's a circle. Long, short, long, short, long. Now, the thickness of that, of that circle there, first one is just 20, right? Which we have there with just what? With just 20. Is that taken? So, I'm going to measure that means from here to here should be 20. Just like what you can see here. You can see that? 20. So, 20 up. 20 down. So I'll close here up with my thick line. You can see that? And the next one is radius what? 8 from diameter of 16. So I'm going to measure 8. And I'll place it here. I'll mark up and I'll what? I'll mark down. So in doing that, this will also be a thick line and also a thick line. You can see that so the next one so this is what we have here now we're not section it remember it is where your blade is touching that you can actually section so here my blade is touching all this part here so section here with my 45 degrees set square right i'll leave the hole because my blade is not touching that hole and our section here too. Right? Now, I'm still, I'm still going to what? Section of this point too. We'll continue with that. where my blade is touching because when i cut here off right this line will not be there so let us remove this line so this is a section view of what we have nothing will touch here because my blade is not touching this side my blade is only cutting from the half distance of this figure here and this is what we are told to do right so if i should do my dimension right so this is what we are told to do. This is the section elevation of this. So this is the main figure. This is the sectioned figure which we've cut off, which we are told to look for the end elevation, looking at the direction. And showing you this is what we have here, right? So this is my answer here. So if you want to see the isometric projection of this particular drawing here, Click on the link at the top right corner of the screen here to take you to a place where you are going to watch on how I construct this using isometric, right? So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. If you have a comment, comment on the comment section and ask your question. Thanks for watching.